like that horrific workplace shooting in Kansas. The gunman's own video discovered on his Facebook page showing an automatic weapon. The terror at the factory when he came back to work, three people killed, more than a dozen hurt. And that toll could have been much higher if it weren't for a hero police chief, the first on the scene. ABC's Clayton Sandell is there tonight with the notice the gunman received just before the shootings. In this clip posted to Facebook last September, 38-year-old Cedric Ford is firing an AK-style rifle, the same type sources say he used to gun down his co-workers late yesterday at this Kansas lawnmower factory. It began at 4.57 p.m., police getting calls about a gunman randomly shooting a driver in the shoulder, not far away, shooting another, stealing his car. By 5.04 p.m., Ford is pulling into the Excel lot six miles away, shooting one person outside, inside 14 more. People were getting pushed, trampled. It was just, everyone was just trying to get out of the, the, the shooting. Three Excel employees are killed. Renee Benjamin, Brian Sadowski, and Josh Higby. At 5.06, the first help arrives. It is Heston's police chief, Doug Schroeder, racing inside to confront Ford in a one-on-one -on -one gun battle. By 5.24, the shootout is over. Ford is dead. Sergeant Chris Carter says what his boss did saved a lot of lives. If there's gunfire, we go to the gunfire. We go stop it. If you're by yourself, you're by yourself. Is that a hard instinct to, to fight, though? I mean, nope. most of us run away from the danger. Nope, absolutely not. We will run towards the gunfire. What caused Ford to snap? Police say just 90 minutes before the rampage, Ford was served at work with a court order to stay away from an ex-girlfriend who alleges he was violently abusive. She wrote, he is in desperate need of medical and psychological help. Today, the president made yet another call to a community now mourning. The, the, the real tragedy is the degree to which this has become routine. And David, right now the factory here behind me is still shut down for the investigation. And the local sheriff here is praising that police chief, saying he is a hero. Had he not acted when he did, the death toll would have certainly been much worse. David.